Today we got a story time of a kid who sets his summer camp on fire over skibbity toilet. Gen Alpha might actually be cooked. This is one of the craziest stories I've heard in a second, so sit back, relax, subscribe to the channel if you're new, leave a like on the video right now to claim your free nothing, and with that being said, well, let's just jump right into it. Anyway, so we're gonna call the subscriber who submitted today's story, Zach. So this actually happened quite recently, about a month ago. So anyways, Zach and his best friend for life, James, were going off to their first sleepaway camp ever. First time going to a sleepaway camp is a pretty big deal. I remember the first time I went to a sleepaway camp, stuff was low-key pretty nerve-wracking, I'm not gonna lie. So anyways, Zach and James are being driven over by their parents. They're excited, they're ready to go. They've heard so many things about this summer camp from their parents, because their parents went as well. But they're also pretty nervous, so they really don't know what to expect. Sure, they've been to each other's houses for a sleepover, but this is like the first legitimate time that they've both been away, not only away from home, but away from any place that they find recognizable, and especially for longer than a day. So anyways, they arrive to the, they arrive to the camp, they see all the other cars pulling up, all the other parents walking with their children, and they see them all walking around this, like, towards this field in this kind of camp house. So there's a couple tables that have been set up, and there's, like, a camp counselor or two sitting at each table, checking kids in and pointing them in the directions to go. So anyways, Zach and James walk up with their parents. You know, the camp counselor is like, hey, what's up, guys? Like, uh, what are your names? He's like, uh, James, uh, Sirhan, and the other guy's like... Uh, Zach Poulin, and they're like, oh yeah, James, Zach, 100%. I saw you guys requested to be in the same group, so you guys will be over at cabin B over there. He points over, and there's a cabin kind of in the far distance as they see multiple cabins, and each of them have a kind of like a couple kids waiting outside of them with a camp counselor, all of them kind of talking to each other. Points over, he says, yeah, that's cabin B. That's where you boys will be going, so say goodbye to your parents, and then head on over there and check in with your cabin leader. Sure enough, sure enough, Zach and James turn around, turn to their parents, give them a hug goodbye. I think Zach, the subscriber, said that he was like, James is like low-key kind of ready, like, yeah, let's, let's go. And Zach was like a little bit more nervous. He liked, like, he wasn't, he wasn't like, oh, I need to get away from my parents, man. He kind of liked his parents. So anyways, they walk over and, you know, it's a group of other kids there. They go up, they meet the camp counselor. He's like, he's like, what's up, guys? Like, my name is uh, my name is Jack, but you can call me Poe. And they're like, "Hey, hey, Poe! Like, what's up, man? How's it going?" He's like, "Yeah, I want you guys to meet the other uh, the other buddies. These are we're all Cabin B. These are all the other guys in Cabin B." So kind of turns around, and the guy's like, oh, "My name's Emmett. My name's Ben uh, Flanagan." And the final guy there was like, "Hello, my name is Ben." Okay, I'm introducing a new character. He, yes, he is the Skibbity Toilet Kid. Little did they know at that moment. Well, they would know pretty soon, but introducing Ben, the Skibbity Toilet Kid. Yeah, so anyways, right, sure enough, they kind of look at this kid, Ben. He's like, what's up, guys? My name's Ben. And they're like, what's up, Ben? <laughs> Zach and James kind of look at each other. They're trying to be open, and they, sure, he's cool, whatever. So this kid's a little bit shorter than everyone else. He has this big, he has this big, like, hat on. He's got these like very, very thick sports got like they're not glass. I think they are glasses, but they kind of remind me of like what someone might wear, like baseball glasses almost. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know what I'm trying to say, but that's kind of the vibe. He had this big t-shirt on. He had this big like Roblox t-shirt on. He had these like short little, he had these cargo shorts on and these Crocs. So just painting the picture, this is Ben. So anyways, I think one or two more kids come and eventually, you know, uh, Poe's like, all right, well, all right, cabin B, look around at each other. Like, these are your cabin mates for the week. We're going to be doing breakfast together. We're going to be doing dinner together. And we're going to be doing, you know, and we're also going to be doing an end of night activity together. So strap in, guys. Like, this is about to be crazy. We're about to, like, tonight the plan is, like, we're going to get dinner together, and then we're going to do our introductory ritual at the camp. It's super sick, and you guys are going to love it. In the meantime, let's go into the cabin. You boys can figure out where you want to stay, what side. Like, no fighting. Keep this easy for us and me especially. <laughs> and, you know, after that, let me know. We're going to chill out for, like, 45 minutes, and then we're going to go to dinner. So anyways, they all kind of walk in. Zach and James get a bunk together. 
Zach wanted the bottom bunk and James wanted the top bunk, so it kept it nice and simple like that. And uh, they were lucky enough that Ben was in, decided to go in the same room as them. They had an odd number. They had seven in total. So it was just Zach and James and Ben in one room. And uh, immediately, immediately, Zach and James walk into the room. And after Ben's been there for a second, James like looks over at Zach. He's like, bro. He kind of whispers like, what stinks in here? So uh, it starts to really smell like someone just absolutely crapped their pants big time. <laughs> so uh, it may or may not have been because Ben crapped his pants big time. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, so Zach, James is like, dude, what the fuck? What? And Zach's like, oh, God. And they, Zach's like, yo, come with me. He looks at James. And Ben is kind of just sitting there reading like some, I don't know what he's doing. He's doing something. And they walk out and they're like, hey, cabin leader Poe, can I talk to you for a second? He's like, yeah, dude, what's up? He's like, hey, can, can I talk to you outside? He's like, oh yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. And they walk out. He's like, all right, boys, what's up? He's like, hey, and Zach's like, hey, I don't, I don't know how to say this, but it smells really, really, really bad in our room, in our cabin. And he's like, oh, Okay, is there like a skunk outside? And James is like, uh, Ben totally crapped his pants. James is definitely less of the filter guy. He's definitely more of the say what you gotta say thing. And Zach's like, well, we don't, we don't know that, but that's not off the table. And Kevin leader Poe's like, oh, oh, okay, boys. You know what? I'm gonna go in there and uh, if you guys wanna stay out here for a second, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in there and figure it out. He goes in there. And James and Zach are just standing outside. They're kind of looking around. Some, some of the groups are in their cabins. Some of them are running around having some fun. But he, you know, James turns over, looks at Zach, is like, dude, there's no way we're spending the week with that kid. Like, there's zero percent. And Zach's like, bro, maybe he just, he's just having a bad day. And James is like, dude, he crapped his pants three minutes in. He couldn't have waited a couple days. Could he not have waited a week to do that? Can he not wait till he goes home to poop his freaking pants? And like James was yelling at this point. Zach's like, dude, relax, 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 relax. We have to deal with this kid for at least a couple more days, minimum. Let's not make him feel embarrassed. Let's not alienate him. James is like, but he sharded his pants. Of course. I'm what do you mean don't make him feel bad? James, Zach, James is like, sorry. Zach's like, James, chill. It's going to be good, bro. You and me, we got each other. It's going to be good. Anyways, fast forward to dinner. They walk over. to. Eventually, they go back into the room. And, oh, well, before they go to dinner, they go back in the room. And Ben has mysteriously disappeared into the communal bathroom. There's, like, a shower and everything. And uh, he's not back for a second. Presumably, he is cleaning up. So, great introduction. Great start. Anyways, eventually, they walk over to the cabin, like, dine the cabin, the, kind of like the dining hall area, and every single night they're gonna eat together as a cabin group. So anyways, they're sitting at dinner together, they're kind of going around like, you know, they grab their food and they go to kind of the cafeteria line, and they sit down, and cabin leader, leader pose like, all right, like, let's go around and say a thing or two that like our hobbies, our interests, and we can chat about that for a second, and if anyone just, well, you know, it's a good idea because, like, if any of you guys have the same hobbies, you'll know right off the bat. You guys can talk about it. It's just a good, like, icebreaker. And they're all like, okay. So they go around. Someone's like, James is like, I play tennis. Zach's like, uh, I don't know. I do music. Someone's like, oh, I do music too. So Zach's like, oh, what kind? And Cabin, cabin Leader's pose like, excellent. This is what I'm trying to see. You guys both do music. Let's let everyone else go around the circle and then you two can break off and you two can break off, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. A very eccentric guy, but fun guy apparently. And he had a lot to deal with this week. Eventually, it gets to Ben. Ben slams both fists down on the table and says, skip it, a toilet. Dead silence. <laughs> And James is like, dude, it starts like laughing. And Zach has to like slam him in the shin under the table. He's like, dude, why do you do that? And uh, <laughs> Captain Leader Poe's like, oh, a, a what? Ben's like, scam it, hey, toilet. He's like, oh, okay. Anyone here that share an interest of anyone? Dead silence. Okay, like, 
how about you? Uh, how about you, uh, Sam? Like, well, well, what are your thoughts? And they kind of go around the table again. And James is like dying in the corner. And Zach's looking at him like, dude, shut up. Like, I get it. Like, this is so cringe, but give this kid a chance. You don't know yet how bad. <laughs> let this kid, like, let him live, bro. Let him exist for a second. So anyways, it's the camp. It's the night of the camp activity, right? So after dinner, they have this big activity or whatever, right, where they're going to, you know, do some kind of initiation ritual. I know that sounds kind of sketch. But anyways, it's so they go back before, after dinner, they go, they go back to the cabins. They're hanging out. They're chilling. They're having a good time. And then they start, like, basically cabin leader pose, like, you guys ready? It's a big night tonight. And they're kind of just like, what do you mean by it's a big night tonight? It's like, hey, you know, I was, like, before I was a camp counselor, I went to this camp for, like, 10 years, and my parents went to this camp. And let me just say, like, I'm not going to spoil initiation to you, but it's really, like, you'll always remember it. I remember my initiation. And, like, James leans over to Zach and is like, uh, is this a cult? Are we literally going to die, bro? And Zach's like, shut up, bro, no. And the camp counselor's like, yeah, man, like, it's it's sick. You're going to love it. Like, no question. Like, yeah, like, just, like, be ready. It's, like, it's sick. So they're all like, okay. Ten minutes later, camp counselor's like, all right, boys, like, we're walking over. So it's kind of dark out. They're walking over, and, like, they, they can kind of see faintly in the distance because it's kind of dark. Other kind of groups of kids also walking in the same direction. They are with their cabin leaders. So anyway, Zach and James are kind of walking up, and they're kind of talking to each other, like, oh, what do you think it's going to be? And James is like, you know, uh, he's like, uh, I think the ritual is going to be everyone pulls down their pants and starts crapping their pants in front of everyone. And Zach's like, dude, you're such an idiot. Like, shut up. That's not even funny. And he's like, dude, just like Ben. And as he's about to say Ben, Ben appears out of nowhere and is kind of doing this like weird little shuffle walk. He's like, what's up, guys? And they're like, oh, and Zach's like, ah, what's up, dude? Um, how's it going? <laughs> yeah. And he's like, um, nothing. Do you guys like scabbity toilet? <laughs> James is like, dude, hold me back. Hold me back. And Zach's like, just be nice. Uh, no, bro. I, I, don't, I don't know what that is. It's like, well, let me tell you, Skibbity Toilet is a great web series. Um, it's, uh, it's videos where the Skibbity Toilets have to find out the, sorry, the Skibbity Toilets have to find out the, the cameraman. It's, it's, it's actually really great if you give it a chance. The lore is actually really great. Tell many people on the internet, they just, they just don't give Skibbity Toilet, they just don't. <laughs> they just they just don't give Skibbity Toilet a chance. It's actually really good. I'd say up there with, uh, uh, you know, uh, War and Peace level writing. Um, I would say it's <laughs> it's up there with like artistically Leonardo da Vinci level. And James is like, hold me back, Zach. Hold me back, bro. I I need to be stopped. <laughs> And Zach's like, chill, chill, chill. Zach's like trying to be the mediator here where it's not like Zach's like defending this kid. He doesn't want to be like, this kid's, yeah, he's being peak level cringe. But Zach's like, okay, bro, I'll definitely check it out. And Ben's like, you know, I actually snuck my iPad along. So it's actually a big thing at this camp, no tech, no technology. You know, since day one, this is kind of a nature-ish based sleepaway camp. The point is, look, Gotta be away from your phones. Kids are on their phones too much. Let's bring them back to nature. Um, it's a good idea. I actually so very much for that. I went to a sleepaway camp. I went away sleepaway camp, sixth grade and seventh grade. I had a great time. And I was also, that's like in seventh grade or even in sixth grade, actually the first year that I ever posted on YouTube was the first year, uh, second year I went to sleepaway camp. So maybe it was fifth and sixth grade, yeah. And I remember, like, I was posting YouTube videos, and that's back when I did stop motion animation videos in 2016. I am freaking old, dude. Oh my god. Back in 2016, and I went to sleepaway camp. And you can actually find, if you go back far enough, I did an animation based off my sleepaway camp. But I remember it was a week without my phone, so I couldn't post any YouTube videos back when I was grinding to my 20 subscribers. By the way, guys, if you don't know, it took me. 100 videos to get 100 subscribers, and it took six months. 
So keep grinding. That's all I'm going to say. Maybe you'll be here someday. Almost a million. Please subscribe. But anyways, right, uh, it, I remember it was a big thing, like, you can't bring your phone. And I think I, I vaguely remember some kid brought his phone, got in big trouble, whatever. But anyways, it was, like, reiterated in the emails, do not bring your electronics. If you bring your electronics, they will be confiscated, and you might even be kicked out depending on the situation. So, like, big no-no for bringing that stuff. Yeah, so, sure enough, right, uh, they're kind of like, oh, dude, you brought your iPad? Ben's like, please be discreet. I brought my iPad to only watch and show other people skibbity toilet. Do not think for a second that you can do anything else on my iPad except watch skibbity toilet. And James is like, dude, what the fuck? And Zach's like, I'm kind of pushing him. And Zach's like, okay, man, well, it's your iPad. Like, oh, yeah, I, like, I heard like you're really not supposed to bring them. So definitely keep that hidden. But like, we're not going to rat on you. Like, don't worry, bro. We're, no, we're not narcs. And he's like, good. I don't want you to become my ops. <laughs> James is like, oh my God, this kid's literally trolling. There's no way he's real. Anyways, Zach's like, ha ha, okay, bro. And Ben's like, okay, uh, have a good skibbity day and walks away. <laughs> James is like, there's no way I'm doing anything with that kid. He needs to go, Zach. And Zach's like, bro, I don't, I can't control that. Look. We got to, like, eat two meals with them and sleep in the same vicinity. And James is like, and he's already crapped his pants. He's already crapped his pants. And now he's going to show us skibbity toilet every day. Like, there's no way. And Zach's like, I know, I know. Let's just enjoy the camp. Look, we got we to gotta push through. This is going to be, the, these, James, these stories, when we look back on this, is going to be crazy. It's going to be, we're building lore right now, James. He's like, better be building lore. I'm not doing this for nothing. So anyways, right, <laughs> sure enough, they go off to the camp initiation ritual. And Zach, act okay, so by the way, I got this story from Instagram. The way that you can submit stories and be on this like Zach did is go to Instagram, look up Connor Pugs. I have 1.2 million followers, blue check. I post reels on there, actually more followers on there than here because the reels do really well. So all you got to do is follow me and then send me a message with your story. You got to break it up into a couple messages. That's cool. Do not message me saying, do I want a story? Yes. Whole point of Instagram messaging me is I want the story. I do. So send it to me and I go through them eventually. Anyways, though, he did not tell me the initiation ritual. I think he was trying to like be for the privacy of the camp. I think he also like, I scramble a lot of details of the story anyways to keep it like secret. But I think just like he thought if I gave that away, people would be able to figure out exactly where this was. So I can't tell you. He told me it was really fun though. So I don't know what that means. Maybe it is a cult and he is actually a member of the cult trying to get more people to join. I don't know. I really don't know. Anyways, so the next day, or well, they eventually get back and, uh, you know, they're going to bed and <laughs> they're sitting in bed and, uh, you know, Zach's trying to fall asleep. The lights are off. And all they hear is, and James, Zach can hear James from above say, dude, like yell, yell dude. <laughs> it, it, it just goes dead silent after that. And then you hear Ben go, um, that wasn't me. It was him. Like after the next day, like James gets up and he's like, yo, did you rip that fart last night? And Zach's like, no. He's like, stupid Benji. It's like, I knew it was him. <laughs> I could just imagine Ben like putting one finger up and being like, um, uh, actually it wasn't me. After absolutely just ripping some ass right there. Uh, so anyways, the first day is actually pretty chill. They have breakfast with no mention of Skibbity Toilet or anything. So uh, first day is cool, whatever. And I'm actually going to skip ahead a little bit. They're three days in the camp. Things are, it's actually pretty fun. So Ben, James, they're having a good time. Um, there is one thing that, ha okay. So one night on Tuesday night, they're all in bed. They're, it's lights are out and they see this kind of blue light emanating from Ben's side. So they see that Ben is watching, uh, he brought out his iPad. And he's got to be very careful 
because if he's caught with it, it's at a minimum going to be taken away, and at a maximum, he's going to get kicked out, which probably not, but at a minimum, he's going to get that thing taken away, and then no more Scooby Toilet. No, he's going to die. Um, <laughs> so anyways, the next night, though, comes around, and same thing happens. They see the blue light emanating. They see that, like, he bends watching with his, like, earbuds on. So he has wired earbuds. And then all of a sudden, Zach is trying to fall asleep when he says his ears are destroyed by Scooby, bop, 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 yes, yes, this blasting full volume. What must have happened is somehow the wired earbuds must have became, like, knocked out of their sockets. Therefore, like, they're no longer connected, so the audio started playing normally. Ben must have had that thing cranked up to 200% volume, bro, because it was the loudest thing that they've heard in a second. So immediately, Ben, like, shuts it off, right? And, like, he closes it, like, whips, like, the iPad down, turns over, and pretends to be asleep. However, he didn't turn it off uh, quick enough because the door opens up. It's Counselor Poe. He's like, yo, boys. He, like, turns on the light. And Ben, like, gets up. And he's like, oh, I'm so sleepy. What happened? Like, he's doing, like, a fake yawning and rubbing his eyes, like, overplaying the fact that he's like, oh, I was asleep. I don't know what that was. And uh, little does he know, the iPad's literally just sitting on his lap over his covers. Anyways, so counselor Poe's like, yo, I, I heard something sound like a device. Guys can't have a device here. Like, if you just could give it up now, like, I won't be, I won't be trouble. I won't, like, report you. You won't get in trouble. I just got to take it for the rest of the trip. And he looks over. He looks at Ben. He's like, hey, like, but I'm going to need that. Points to the iPad. And Ben, like, literally looks down, looks at the iPad, grabs a pillow behind him, covers the iPad. Is like, oh, what iPad? And Poe just looks at him. With the most, are you serious right now, typeface. Like, bro, I don't have room temperature IQ. I, my, my brain is fully functional. I saw what you just did. Come on now. So Ben's like, um. And he's like, lift up that pillow. Ben's like, why? Um, why? And Poe's like, dude, like, I'm going to be cool with you, but you need to lift up that pillow. So eventually Ben lifts up the pillow Poe's like, all right, like, we'll get this back at the end of the week. You know, it's not gone forever. Look, the point of this camp is to be connected to nature, be away from electronics. Like, you'll probably have your iPad all summer and all school. This is the one week we ask, like, for you just not to have it. And Ben's, like, tearing up. He's like, please, can I have it back? I gotta watch Skibbity Toilet. <laughs> Zach and James are like, oh my God, I'm just trying to go to sleep. Just trying to go to sleep, man. <laughs> so when he posed like, you'll get back at the end of the week. You can watch all your bibby toilet or whatever, but end of the week. He leaves the room and Ben's like, but I need to watch Skibbit. And he just kind of does that for a second. So, so about five minutes of wailing from him of like in the dark too. Zach and James are just, like, trying to, like, they're covering their ears with pillows. He's like, but I want to watch Skippy Toilet. And they're like, oh, my God. Eventually, the door opens up. The light flicks on. And Poe's like, hey, knock it off. Everyone else is trying to go to sleep. Like, like, this counselor is, like, one of those chillers who never raises his voice, never gets angry. You know when, like, the cool teacher gets mad and that's when you know, like, oh, oh boys, we got to lock in. Like, this is not good. Whenever the chill teacher gets mad, it's so much more impactful than when the mad teacher gets super mad, in my opinion. So he immediately quiets up. He shuts up. They all go to sleep. Next day rolls around. So they wake up in the morning. Zach looks over. Ben's not there. They're like, oh, okay. It's kind of kind of strange. Like, I kind of expect him to be here because he, he always like slept in. They had to wake him up. And so they get up and they walk out. And Counselor Poe's like, what's up, guys? Morning. Uh, all right, we're going to go off to breakfast in a second. Just got to make sure you're all here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yo, Zach James, you know where, you know where Ben is? And they look at each other, and they look back at Poe, and they're like, no. It's like, oh, okay. Uh, well, can we, can we look around and see if we can get him? And if not, then uh, we'll talk later. We'll figure that out. 
So sure enough, they look around and they're calling for him and there's no sight. There's no sight at all. And so Counselor Poe's like, hmm, let me check my bag. So he goes back and apparently he, that's where he put the iPad and sure enough, the iPad was gone. So he's like, oh, okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to actually call another counselor over. She's going to take you to lunch. You're going to have a new person for lunch today. No, uh, breakfast, sorry. You know, change it up a little bit. Uh, I got to go do something. So sure enough, they're walking over to lunch. Uh, sorry, I'm an idiot. Sure enough, they're walking over to breakfast. Hey, real quick, you made it this far in the, in the video. I want you to comment. Is, can you guys spell breakfast? Comment breakfast down below or do your best to spell it. Uh, that will be the secret word of the day to see how many people made it this far to the video. Trust me, things are about to get crazy. I just like seeing the names and faces of people who made it this far. And if you're on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to this point. And if you're listening on Spotify, which YouTube viewers, by the way, we're on Spotify, make sure you've rated the podcast five stars and followed the podcast as well. And finally, if you guys are interested in seeing the rest of my life, outside of me doing these YouTube videos, because I do a lot of other things. I actually run a company, you know, I'm in college, I'm having fun. Like, I do a lot of other things. Go to Snapchat, look up Connor Pugs, all one word. Follow me, I'm verified on there. Uh, actually, a lot of people watch me on there and they don't even know I do YouTube. So make sure you've added me on Snapchat if that's the site you use, if you want to see the rest of my day. And of course, follow me on Instagram because I'm active on there and it's a good place to submit your stories. And with that being said, let's just jump right into it. Or let's go jump right back into it. So anyways, they go to, they go to breakfast. And uh, about halfway through breakfast, they see Poe, not looking so happy, walking back with Ben. His like hat is tucked all the way down. It's pulled all the way down so you can't see his face. His arms are crossed and he's stomping over. And Poe's like, what's up, guys? And you can tell like he, he's done. Like Buddy is done. He's like, hey, guys, uh, sorry that Ben and I were late. We just had to figure some stuff out. So word got, uh, like, they don't, so this is more of a guess. Zach and James obviously weren't there when that happened. But the guess is, and it's a pretty educated guess, uh, Ben got up early, stole the iPad, ran away to go watch Skibbity Toilet somewhere. And, of course, I guess they must have found him because, sure enough, there they were. And Poe's like, yeah, like, uh, sorry for being late, guys. Sorry about that. Hey, yeah, Tiana, thank you so much for taking this morning. Like, you, you can stay with us, but I got it now. She's like, yeah, no problem, Poe. It's good. She gets up, walks away. And Poe's like, just, it, it's just silent. The rest of breakfast is silent. Like, it's literally so awkward. Because Poe's usually the, yo, boys, what's up? Like, today's going to be crazy. It's going to be so... You could tell that Buddy was done. He's like, this is way beyond my pay grade. This kid's a menace. He just wants to watch stupid videos, brain rot shit. Like, I, I don't care. I'm done. So it was a dead, silent, awkward breakfast. Most of them were done eating, so they just sat in silence. Anyways, later on in the day, the day goes on, things are going on, whatever. And that night, there was a game of hide and seek. Because every night, the camp had like a collective game they'd all play. So yeah, there was a, every single night, they'd play some kind of thing. The initial night was a ceremony. The night previous was a big, like, dodgeball game where each team would play dodgeball. By the way, Ben absolutely threw immediately. He was terrible, believe it or not. But tonight was a big game of hide-and-seek. I remember when I went to camp, we had, like, a big hide-and-seek thing. Dude, it was so fun. I miss dodgeball. I miss capture the flag. I miss hide-and-seek. Can us adults do this too, bro? Like, let's have an adult league. It actually, pro probably the stakes would be higher. You could put money down. Like, that'd be fun. I'd be down. But anyways... So sure enough, right, they're playing a big game of, ca of hide and go seek. So like one, basically there was eight cabins. One cabin would be seekers. The rest would be hiders. They didn't have to hide together. But like the, the, hide, like the seekers was one team. When you got caught, you were out. It wasn't like uh, infection or zombie or whatever. How, how, however you guys call what you play when like someone gets tagged or caught, you become like a seeker or someone who's it as well and just becomes exponentially more difficult to play. Or to survive, I should say. So it was really like if you're out, you're out, and you go sit on the sideline with the other friends, and you rotate through. A lot of fun. Anyway, so they kind of split up a little bit. And Zach and James decide that they're going to hide together, or at least hide kind of in the same location. So they see kind of like the, 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 kind of the limits were like, okay, there's a little plot of forest, but there was a much greater forest that went on and on and on, and there was like a fence, so you can't go past the fence. Um, so anyway, Zach and James kind of go in the bit of forest that is allowed. It's not beyond the fence. 
Zach hides in a bush, in a bush. James climbs up, climbs up a tree. It's actually both decent hiding spots. If you didn't know that they were there, it'd be very hard to find them. Anyways, though, so about like five minutes in, they, uh, they, they've been briefed before, a little bit of context. They were told in the first meeting. So the very, as soon as they got there, one of the things that Poe, the cabin leader, was like, hey, we're going to go through some safety stuff. So anyways, like blah, 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 this, blah, 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 that. But also if you hear a siren noise, like there's a siren where basically it's anything from, could be a fire, could be a bear, could be an intruder. It doesn't really matter what it is. Basically that siren means that you got to like go find your camp leader and like go back to basically the cabin area and stand out there. You basically want to collect together with your cabin leader. If you guys are out somewhere far, then figure out where you're, the nearest adult is and find them. Just to hear that for any reason, that's what you got to do. So anyways, Zach and James were hiding, and they were like, dude, this is a sick hiding spot. Like, no shot we lose. Like, this is, like, this is such a winning position, bro. Like, this is such a W. And then all of a sudden... <laughs> I don't know, something like that. So here are the sirens. So immediately, like, Zach gets out of the bush. And James is like, bro, they're trying to trick us. This is how they're going to get us, like, find our hiding spots. Our hiding spots are just too OP. And Zach's like, bro, don't be an idiot. Like, the counselors are not going to use the emergency alert siren to try and figure out our hiding spots because they're so good. Like, get a grip. James is like, all right, bro, fire, 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 fire. But we can't tell anyone where we were. He's like, fine. Let's just go back to, like, the main site. So they're walking back. And all the other kids are kind of like leaving the hiding spot. They're kind of confused. They're kind of scared. And they see like three dolls being like, hey, everyone, everyone over here, over here, over here. So they all kind of walk in. And you hear the ominous kind of siren in the background. Like the... They kind of hear this ominous siren in the background. So one kid goes up and they overhear it. They, they overhear, they're just like, oh, uh, what's like, what's going on? Like... Like, what, what's happening? They're like, hey, like, we don't really know. Um, or like, no, like, we don't have any details. Just kind of stay here with us. Uh, you know, keep it, like, just, like, stay here. Uh, feel free to, like, uh, talk to you guys in the meantime. But, yeah, we just can't say anything at the moment. So it's a very kind of awkward situation. And they're not, okay, awkward's not true. But it's a very uncomfortable situation. Because they have no idea what's going on. And they're just like, oh, my God. Like, this could honestly be anything. Like, is it a fire? Is it an intruder? Is it a bear? If it's a bear, we got to get out of here. But anyways, not, sh not that far out later, they see in the far distance, Zach and James are standing there. And Zach gets a punch in his shoulder. He turns around and says, dude, what? James is like, look, look, look. James tried to get Zach's attention so hard, he basically punched him in the shoulder. He's pointing, he's pointing. You can see in the far distance, five camp counselors escorting and a security person. They didn't even know a security person was there. Escorting Ben away. And James is like, dude, what? No way. So they're escorting him away. So like James is like, like basically pushing everyone. People like, guys, look, look, look. And the camp counselor sees this. And the camp counselor like steps in front of them like, guys, there's nothing to see here. And James is like, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Look, 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 look. And the camp counselor is like, don't, don't, don't look at that. And they're trying to like pause whatever. Like, no, don't look over there. No, 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 no. Yeah, so rumors spread very quickly. And Zach and James, they don't have a 100% firsthand account. But let me tell you what they pieced together, right? Basically, Ben got so angry that he couldn't watch Skibbity Toilet. He wanted to watch Skibbity Toilet so bad that he basically went into a mental rage. He, when he was supposed to be hiding, he ran into the main camp place, grabbed, found a big thing of matches, lit matches and was trying to burn stuff down. One of like the janitors slash security workers, whatever, a janitor, right? Uh, kind of stumbled in and watched this kid like frantically like trying to burn things. Like, but dude was low key a moron. Apparently he was trying to burn like metal and he didn't go to the curtains. There was literally curtains in the room that he was caught. He could have set those on fire so easily, but he's like, he's got a thing of matches. He tried to set the place on fire. He's trying to be like, I'm trying to watch Skippy Toilet. Blah, blah, blah. So eventually, like, the janitor, like, slips out of the room, calls, like, security and the other camp counselors. They go in there. They escort him out of there. Like, needless to say that Ben was not seen. Like, Ben did not come back to the cabin. He was absolutely kicked out of there. 
However, here's the thing. So, like, Zach and James go back to the cabin. They're like, Poe, like, dude, what happened? He's like, dude, I low-key don't know. Like, I would kind of tell you. But the next day when Zach and James were like, what happened and where's Ben? But Poe's like, dude, you're my boys. Like, you guys have been great. I just can't tell you. So it went from I don't know and I tell you to, dude, I can't tell you. So for the, re- the rest of camp is sick and they end out great. But there was no letter about it. There was no email. There was no communication to parents. And every single camp counselor that not only Zach and James, but all the other kids were talking to were told to be like quiet, silence. And James was like, yo, Poe, like, Ben was like, like, you know, he left something here because he actually did leave a shirt or something. And Poe's like, all right, give that to me. I'll have them ship it to him. And they're like, James like, dude, you got to tell me why my roommate isn't here. And Poe's like, he had to leave early. <laughs> and they're like, dude, what? So what I told you is a combination of all the stories of like different firsthand accounts. And apparently, James tells me apparently one of his friends, Adam, who's also like one of the guys, like one of the camp counselor, counselors, Loki spilled the whole thing to Adam. That's what she told Adam. And like, she's like, oh, don't tell anyone. I'm not supposed to say this, whatever. So it's like secondhand accounts. It's not, it's not like a perfect piecing it together. But uh, yeah, bro, imagine trying to burn down your summer camp because you couldn't watch Skibbity Toilet. Couldn't be me, baby.